Omnigenesis and the Law of the Blades was written by Esoterica. You can find it on the SCP Wiki in the description down below. It is under a Creative Commons share-like attribution license. Many kalpa ago, long before the creation of this universe or any other, there was a great and vast abyss. If any man or beast had come before the fathomless void, it is not known. What is known is that there was only one being present to witness this impossible expanse. Karak, who is bearer of the sevenfold truth, defiler of stars and all conqueror. In this undomain where nothing could ever be or not be, Karak, who is paradox made flesh, and enshrined in episty, spoke himself into being. I am not that I am. For a time, for what little meaning that word held then, Karak slept in this non-place, content in his own nihility. Then came Omnigenesis. If all things must have a beginning and end, then this was the beginning of the very concept of beginnings. This was not simply the genesis of a world. This was the genesis of all worlds at once. Every universe being born simultaneously pressing and jostling one another like starving men in a crowded marketplace. Chaos was giving birth to Erebus and Nyx. Atom was rising from the primordial sea. McCain was drawing up blueprints for causality. Yaldabaoth was spawning its first young. The tree of knowledge was being planted by a hideous serpent, and Mother Death was teaching the syllables of creation to her thirteen children. On and on it went, an unending chain of ex nihilo. Time was not yet a river, it was an ocean an unceasing torrent that surged into the future, into the past, and into the present. Space was likewise difficult to define. There was no boundary separating any one thing from any other. No distinction between place and person. That which would become the multiverse was a whirl of matter, Karak, whose breath is the sundering of worlds, saw this and felt extinction fire flare in his chest. But there was nothing to be done. In this place where everything flowed freely into everything else, where all things existed beyond understanding or limit, conquest was meaningless. And Karak knew this. So for seven days and seven nights, Karak worked in the great brass forge that is glory. It was then when he performed his first and last act of creation. The Ur Blade. It was a thing of beauty. Not made of metal, but raw conceptual matter. Karak had created the idea of a blade. So sharp it was that it could cut a shadow from the wall, or slice a single breath from the air. So thin was the edge that it could slip between atoms without disturbing a single 
Quark. On the eighth day, Karak took the herb blade, still hot as a white star, and carved into being the Law of Blades. And into the law he etched his seven tenets. And from the law division was born. Boundaries emerged between people, places, and moments. Difference bloomed like wildflowers. And dissent began spreading across the land. The multiverse as we know it had begun. Karak saw this and thought it good. The Law of the Blades. 1. Existence is violence. If one is to gain, another must lose. 2. A blade is not but cruel metal. To master the laws of the blade, one must first hone one's very being to a razor's edge. 3. A thing that can change itself at will is a thing beyond injury. To change oneself is to destroy oneself. Therefore the greatest defense is self-annihilation. 4. Truth is a falsehood born from the weakness of fools. Enlightenment can only be achieved through self-deception. 5. Do not seek victory, for even the most overwhelming triumph may be overturned. Seek inevitability. Become as ceaseless as the tide, as enduring as the stars, and all will be Yours, given time. Six, the teachings of gods are worth less than dung on the side of the road and are to be disregarded. Seven, the greatest act of violence is I am. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.